As Buddha once said, no one can save us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We must walk the path alone. Welcome fellow seekers of tranquility and understanding. As we embark on our journey through the profound teachings of Buddhism, let's take a moment to ponder these gentle words attributed to the Enlightened One. In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, where every thought and action is often laid bare for the world to see, the concept of privacy becomes increasingly precious. Today, we're here to explore the timeless wisdom of Buddhism and its insights into the importance of privacy for our mental and spiritual well-being. So, join me as we delve into seven things you should keep private, guided by the compassionate teachings of the Buddha. Do you want to help us reach new heights? Like and share this video to boost its reach through the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe, because only 8.5% of our viewers are subscribed. Your support makes a huge difference. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the constant noise and distractions that surround us. From social media updates to the pressures of work and relationships, it can sometimes feel like there's no escape from the prying eyes of others. But in the midst of this chaos, Buddhism offers us a sanctuary of peace and serenity, a reminder to turn inward and cultivate a sense of privacy that nourishes our souls. At the heart of Buddhist philosophy lies a profound respect for the sanctity of the individual experience. The Buddha himself often retreated into solitude to reflect on the nature of existence and find inner peace. In doing so, he showed us the importance of carving out moments of privacy amidst the clamor of the world, where we can reconnect with our true selves and find solace in the silence. So what exactly does privacy mean in the context of Buddhism? It goes beyond simply keeping our thoughts and actions hidden from others. Instead, it encompasses a deep reverence for our own boundaries and the boundaries of others. It's about creating sacred spaces, both physical and mental, where we can retreat from the demands of the world and reconnect with our innermost thoughts and feelings. In the pages that follow, we'll explore seven key aspects of privacy as understood in Buddhism, each offering valuable insights into how we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and well-being in our lives. From guarding our thoughts and emotions to respecting the privacy of our personal relationships, these teachings offer us a roadmap for navigating the complexities of modern existence with grace and compassion. But beyond the practical tips and advice, it's important to remember that privacy is ultimately a state of mind, a way of being in the world that honors our own unique journey and the journeys of those around us. So as we embark on this exploration together, let's approach it with an open heart and a spirit of kindness, knowing that true privacy begins with the gentle embrace of self-love and acceptance. Understanding Privacy in Buddhism In Buddhism, privacy goes beyond simply keeping secrets or hiding away. It's about creating a space for inner peace, reflection and personal growth. Let's break down what privacy means in the context of Buddhist teachings. Privacy in Buddhism isn't just about physical boundaries or hiding information. It's about creating a sanctuary within ourselves where we can nurture our thoughts, emotions and spiritual journey without external interference. Think of it as a sacred space for self-discovery and growth. Just as a garden needs fences to protect its delicate flowers, our minds require boundaries to safeguard our inner peace. Personal boundaries in Buddhism involve knowing when to say no and when to set limits on what we share with others. This isn't about shutting people out, but rather creating a healthy space for ourselves to flourish. Buddhism teaches us the value of solitude in our spiritual journey. Taking time for quiet reflection allows us to connect deeply with ourselves and understand our true nature. Whether through meditation or contemplation, solitude provides an opportunity to recharge and gain clarity amidst life's chaos. 
Privacy in Buddhism also involves being mindful of our thoughts, words, and actions. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more aware of our inner landscape and how we interact with the world around us. This heightened awareness helps us navigate life's challenges with grace and integrity. Just as we seek privacy for ourselves, it's important to respect the privacy of others. This means honoring their boundaries, not prying into their personal affairs, and allowing them the space to be themselves without judgment or intrusion. Privacy in Buddhism isn't about isolation or detachment from the world. It's about finding a balance between solitude and social interaction, between inner reflection and outward expression. By striking this balance, we can cultivate a sense of harmony and well-being in our lives. Finally, privacy in Buddhism is rooted in the understanding of impermanence. Just as the seasons change and the river flows, our thoughts, emotions and experiences are ever-evolving. By embracing impermanence, we can let go of attachments to our identity and find freedom in the present moment. In essence, privacy in Buddhism is about creating a sanctuary within ourselves where we can nurture our inner peace, foster personal growth and connect deeply with our true nature. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-awareness that leads to greater clarity, compassion and wisdom. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, may we always remember the importance of privacy in cultivating a life of meaning, purpose and fulfillment. Seven Aspects of Privacy in Buddhism Privacy in Buddhism encompasses various facets of our lives, guiding us to maintain a sacred space within ourselves for growth and introspection. Let's explore seven key aspects of privacy in Buddhist teachings. 1. Thoughts and Emotions In Buddhism, the mind is considered the foundation of our experiences and actions. Therefore, it's essential to guard our thoughts and emotions diligently. Just as a gardener tends to their garden to ensure it flourishes, we must cultivate a positive and peaceful mental landscape to foster inner harmony. Buddhism teaches us that our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. Negative thoughts and emotions can cloud our perception and lead to suffering. By guarding our thoughts and emotions, we create a protective barrier against the seeds of negativity that may otherwise take root and grow within us. Guarding our thoughts and emotions doesn't mean suppressing or denying them. Instead, it involves cultivating awareness and discernment. When negative thoughts arise, we can acknowledge them without allowing them to consume ooze. We can choose e to redirect our attention towards more positive and constructive patterns of thinking. Practicing mindfulness is a key aspect of guarding our thoughts and emotions. By staying present in the moment, we can observe our thoughts as they arise without getting swept away by them. Mindfulness allows us to create space between ourselves and our thoughts, giving us the freedom to choose how we respond. Moreover, Cultivating compassion towards ourselves and others can help soften the impact of negative thoughts and emotions. When we approach ourselves with kindness and understanding, we create a nurturing environment in which positive qualities such as love, patience and empathy can flourish. Cultivating Mental Privacy Through Meditation Meditation is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice and serves as a powerful tool for cultivating mental privacy. Through meditation, we create a sanctuary within our minds where peace and clarity reign supreme. By withdrawing from the external world and turning inward, we can explore the depths of our inner landscape with greater intimacy and insight. One of the fundamental principles of meditation is observing our thoughts without judgment. Instead of getting caught up in the endless stream of thoughts and emotions, we learn to witness them with detached awareness. This allows us to cultivate a sense of mental privacy, where we can observe the fluctuations of our mind 
without becoming entangled in them. Another aspect of meditation is letting go of attachment to our thoughts and emotions. Often we cling to certain thoughts or identities as if they define who we are. However, in meditation we come to realize that our thoughts are transient and ever-changing. By letting go of attachment, we create space for new insights and perspectives to emerge. Furthermore, meditation helps to quiet the incessant chatter of the mind, allowing us to access deeper states of awareness and inner peace. In the stillness of meditation, we can connect with our true essence beyond the fluctuations of the ego. This connection brings a profound sense of freedom and liberation, allowing us to experience mental privacy in its purest form. 2. Personal Relationships Exercising Discretion in Personal Relationships in Buddhism, personal relationships are regarded as precious opportunities for growth and connection. However, maintaining healthy boundaries within these relationships is essential for preserving intimacy and trust. Therefore, Buddhism emphasizes the importance of exercising discretion in our interactions with others. Exercising discretion means being mindful of what we share with others and when. It involves discerning between information that is appropriate to share and information that may be better kept private. By exercising discretion, we can protect the sanctity of our relationships and prevent unnecessary misunderstandings or conflicts. Moreover, discretion allows us to honor the individual boundaries and preferences of those we interact with. Not everyone may be comfortable with sharing certain aspects of their lives, and it's crucial to respect their privacy and autonomy. By exercising discretion, we demonstrate sensitivity and respect for the personal boundaries of others, fostering an atmosphere of mutual trust and understanding. Practicing Right Speech Right speech is a fundamental aspect of Buddhist ethics, and serves as a guiding principle for communication in personal relationships. It emphasizes the importance of speaking truthfully, kindly, and with mindfulness. By practicing right speech, we can honor the privacy of others and foster healthy communication in our relationships. Right speech involves not only the words we speak, but also the intention behind them. It encourages us to consider the impact of our words on others and to communicate with compassion and understanding. This means refraining from gossip, slander, or any speech that may harm or betray the trust of others. Furthermore, right speech emphasizes the importance of speaking truthfully and authentically. By being honest and transparent in our communication, we can build trust and strengthen the bonds of our relationships. However, honesty must always be tempered with kindness and sensitivity, taking into account the feelings and vulnerabilities of others. Additionally, right speech encourages us to speak with mindfulness, meaning we carefully consider our words before speaking. This allows us to communicate with clarity and intention, avoiding misunderstandings or hurtful remarks. By practicing right speech, we create an atmosphere of openness and mutual respect in our relationships, where privacy is honored and communication flows with ease. 3. Material Possessions – Non-Attachment to Material Possessions In Buddhism, the concept of non-attachment extends beyond just material possessions. It encompasses our relationship with all things in the physical world. Material possessions are transient and impermanent, and clinging to them can lead to suffering. Therefore, Buddhism teaches us to cultivate non-attachment, letting go of our attachment to material possessions and recognizing that true happiness and fulfillment come from within. By practicing non-attachment to material possessions, we free ourselves from the burden of constantly seeking more and comparing ourselves to others, Instead, we find contentment and satisfaction in what we have, regardless of its monetary value or status symbol. 
This practice allows us to maintain privacy around our material possessions as we no longer feel the need to flaunt them or seek validation from others through them. Keeping certain possessions private while sharing material wealth with others can be a noble and compassionate act. There are certain possessions that are best kept private. These may include items of sentimental value, personal belongings, or financial assets. By keeping these possessions private, we protect our sense of self-worth and avoid the temptation to define ourselves by our material wealth. Moreover, keeping certain possessions private allows us to maintain a sense of autonomy and independence. We are not obligated to explain or justify our choices to others, and we can enjoy our possessions without fear of judgment or envy. This practice fosters a greater sense of inner peace and contentment as we are no longer seeking external validation or approval through our material possessions. In essence, by practicing non-attachment to material possessions and keeping certain possessions private, we can cultivate a healthier and more balanced relationship with the physical world. We find freedom from the cycle of craving and clinging and instead discover true happiness and fulfillment in the richness of our inner lives. 4. Spiritual Practice – Maintaining Privacy in Spiritual Endeavors in the journey of spiritual growth, privacy plays a crucial role in fostering deep introspection and connection with the divine. Buddhism encourages individuals to cultivate their spiritual practice in solitude and silence, away from the distractions of the external world. By maintaining privacy in our spiritual endeavors, we create a sacred space within ourselves where we can delve into the depths of our being and commune with the divine. Privacy in spiritual practice allows us to explore our beliefs, values and experiences without the influence or judgment of others. It provides us with the freedom to explore different paths and traditions, to question and seek answers and to develop our own unique connection with the divine. By honoring our privacy in spiritual endeavors, we cultivate a sense of authenticity and integrity in our spiritual journey. Finding Solitude in Spiritual Retreats Spiritual retreats are a time-honored practice in Buddhism for seeking solitude and deepening one's spiritual practice. These retreats offer a precious opportunity to step away from the busyness of daily life and immerse oneself in contemplation, meditation and self-reflection. By finding solitude in spiritual retreats, we create a space for inner peace and renewal, allowing us to reconnect with our innermost selves and the divine. During spiritual retreats, individuals have the chance to disconnect from technology, obligations and distractions and instead focus their attention inward. In the serenity of nature or the quietude of a meditation hall, we can let go of the noise of the external world and listen to the whispers of our own soul. Through silence and solitude, we can deepen our spiritual practice, gain clarity and insight, and experience profound moments of awakening and transformation. 5. Past Mistakes and Regrets – Letting Go of the Past in Buddhism, the past is seen as a fleeting moment that no longer exists and clinging to it only brings suffering. Therefore, Buddhism teaches us to embrace impermanence and let go of attachments, including attachments to our past mistakes and regrets. By letting go of the past, we liberate ourselves from the burden of guilt, shame and regret that can weigh heavily on our hearts and minds. Letting go of the past doesn't mean denying or ignoring our mistakes. Rather, it involves acknowledging them with honesty and compassion. We recognize that we are human and fallible and that making mistakes is an inevitable part of the human experience. By accepting this truth, we can release the grip of the past and move forward with greater freedom and clarity. 
Practicing mindfulness is essential in the process of letting go of the past. By staying present in the moment, we can observe our thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them. Through mindfulness meditation, we develop the capacity to let go of rumination and regret, allowing us to live more fully in the present and embrace the possibilities of the future. Practicing Self-Compassion Self-compassion is a central tenet of Buddhism, emphasizing the importance of treating ourselves with kindness, understanding, and forgiveness. By practicing self-compassion, we can honor our privacy around our past mistakes and regrets and cultivate a sense of inner peace and acceptance. Self-compassion involves extending the same warmth and understanding to ourselves that we would offer to a dear friend in times of struggle. Instead of berating ourselves for our mistakes or dwelling on past regrets, we offer ourselves words of kindness and encouragement. We recognize that suffering is a universal part of the human experience and that we are worthy of love and compassion, regardless of our perceived shortcomings. Practicing self-compassion also involves cultivating mindfulness of our thoughts and emotions. When painful memories or regrets arise, we meet them with gentle curiosity and compassion rather than judgment or aversion. Through this practice, we can create a safe and nurturing inner environment where healing and transformation can occur. 6. Personal Achievements Humility in Personal Achievements Buddhism teaches us the virtue of humility, reminding us to remain grounded and humble even in the face of success and achievement. By practicing humility, we can maintain privacy around our personal accomplishments and avoid falling into the traps of arrogance and pride. Humility is the recognition that our achievements are not solely the result of our individual efforts, but are often supported by countless external factors and the contributions of others. By acknowledging this interconnectedness, we cultivate a sense of gratitude and humility that keeps us grounded and prevents us from becoming inflated by our successes. Practicing humility also involves recognizing our own limitations and imperfections. Instead of seeking validation or recognition from others, we find fulfillment in the intrinsic value of our actions and the positive impact they have on the world around us. By letting go of the need for external validation, we can maintain privacy around our personal achievements and find contentment in simply doing what is right. Modesty in sharing accomplishments While it's natural to want to share our successes with others, Buddhism encourages us to do so with humility and modesty. By sharing our accomplishments modestly, we honor our privacy and cultivate a sense of gratitude and humility. Modesty in sharing accomplishments involves refraining from boasting or seeking attention for our achievements. Instead, we express gratitude for the support and opportunities that have contributed to our success and humbly acknowledge the efforts of others who have helped us along the way. Moreover, sharing our accomplishments modestly allows us to inspire and uplift others without triggering feelings of envy or inadequacy. By modeling humility and gratitude, we create a culture of kindness and generosity that fosters mutual respect and support. 7. Future Plans and Goals Protecting Future Aspirations In Buddhism, the future is seen as uncertain and ever-changing. Therefore, it's essential to protect our aspirations and goals from external influences that may distract or derail us from our path. By keeping our future plans private, we can avoid the pitfalls of seeking validation from others and cultivate a sense of inner strength and determination. Protecting future aspirations involves maintaining privacy around our goals and dreams, especially during their formative stages. Instead of seeking approval or validation from others, we trust in our own intuition and inner guidance to navigate the path ahead. By keeping our aspirations private, 
we create a safe and nurturing space where they can take root and grow without the influence of external expectations or judgments. Moreover, protecting future aspirations allows us to maintain a sense of autonomy and independence in our journey. We are not swayed by the opinions or desires of others, but remain steadfast in our commitment to realizing our dreams. By honoring our privacy in this way, we cultivate a deep sense of inner confidence and resilience that enables us to overcome obstacles and pursue our goals with unwavering determination. Cultivating mindfulness in shaping our path. Mindfulness is a central practice in Buddhism, emphasizing the importance of being present in the moment and aware of our thoughts and actions. By cultivating mindfulness, we can shape our path with intention and clarity, honoring our privacy and staying true to ourselves. Cultivating mindfulness involves paying attention to our thoughts, emotions and intentions as we navigate the journey of life. Instead of being carried away by the currents of distraction or desire, we anchor ourselves in the present moment and make conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations. By staying mindful, we can discern what truly matters to us and take steps to manifest our goals with authenticity and integrity. Moreover, mindfulness helps us to recognize and release any attachments or aversions that may hinder our progress. By observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, we create space for clarity and insight to emerge. Through mindfulness meditation and other contemplative practices, we cultivate a deep sense of inner wisdom that guides us along the path with grace and ease. Practical Tips for Cultivating Privacy in Daily Life Privacy is not just a concept to be pondered in theory, it's a practice that can be incorporated into our daily lives to enhance our well-being and spiritual growth. Here are some practical tips inspired by Buddhist teachings for cultivating privacy in your day-to-day -day existence. Set Boundaries Setting boundaries is a fundamental aspect of self-care and personal growth in Buddhism. By establishing and maintaining clear boundaries, we create a framework for healthy relationships and inner peace. Here are practical ways to set boundaries in your life. Identify your personal boundaries and communicate them clearly to others. Take time to reflect on your values, needs and limitations. Be honest with yourself about what feels comfortable and what doesn't. Once you have a clear understanding of your boundaries, communicate them assertively and respectfully to those around you. Remember that boundaries are not about controlling or manipulating others, but about honoring your own needs and values. Learn to say no when necessary and prioritize your own needs and well-being. Many of us struggle with saying no because we fear disappointing others or being perceived as selfish. However, saying no is an essential skill for setting boundaries and preserving your energy and mental health. Practice saying no with kindness and firmness, knowing that you are taking care of yourself and honoring your boundaries. Create physical boundaries in your living space to provide yourself with a sense of privacy and sanctuary. Your home should be a place where you feel safe, comfortable and at peace. Consider establishing physical boundaries, such as designated personal space or quiet areas, where you can retreat and recharge. This could be a cozy corner for reading, a meditation space, or simply a room where you can be alone with your thoughts. By creating these physical boundaries, you create a tangible reminder of the importance of respecting your own space and needs. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice, offering a pathway to inner peace, clarity and self-awareness. Here are practical ways to incorporate mindfulness into your daily life. Cultivate mindfulness in your daily activities by being fully present in the moment. Mindfulness involves paying attention to your thoughts, emotions and sensations without judgment. 
Whether you're eating, walking or working, bring your awareness to the present moment. Notice the sights, sounds and sensations around you and fully engage with whatever you're doing. Notice when your mind starts to wander into areas that you'd rather keep private and gently guide your focus back to the present. Our minds have a tendency to wander, often dwelling on past regrets or worrying about the future. When you notice your mind wandering into areas that you'd rather keep private, simply acknowledge it without judgment and gently bring your focus back to the present moment. You can do this by redirecting your attention to your breath, the sensations in your body or the task at hand. Use mindfulness techniques such as deep breathing or body scanning to ground yourself and maintain inner peace. Deep breathing involves taking slow, deliberate breaths, focusing on the sensation of air entering and leaving your body. Body scanning involves bringing your awareness to each part of your body, noticing any tension or discomfort and consciously releasing it. These techniques can help to calm your mind, reduce stress and cultivate a sense of inner peace and relaxation. Reflect regularly. Reflection and introspection are essential practices in Buddhism for cultivating self-awareness, insight and personal growth. Here are practical ways to incorporate regular reflection into your daily life. Set aside time each day for reflection and introspection. Carve out a few moments of quietude in your day to pause, breathe and reflect on your experiences. This could be in the morning upon waking, during a break in your day or before bed. Use this time to check in with yourself, acknowledge your thoughts and feelings and cultivate a sense of inner peace and clarity. Journaling can be a powerful tool for processing your thoughts and emotions in a private and sacred space. Take some time each day to write in a journal, expressing your thoughts, feelings and experiences without judgment. Allow yourself to explore your inner landscape freely, knowing that your journal is a safe and confidential space for self-expression. Journaling can help you gain insights, process difficult emotions and track your personal growth over time. Reflect on your boundaries, values and aspirations and consider how you can honor your privacy in each area of your life. Reflecting on your boundaries involves examining the ways in which you interact with others and setting clear limits to protect your emotional and physical well-being. Reflecting on your values involves identifying what matters most to you and aligning your actions with your core beliefs. Reflecting on your aspirations involves clarifying your goals and intentions for the future and taking steps to manifest them with integrity and purpose. Prioritize inner peace. Inner peace is a precious gift that we can cultivate through mindful living and intentional choices. Here are practical ways to prioritize inner peace in your daily life. Make self-care a priority in your daily routine, whether it's through meditation, exercise or spending time in nature. Self-care is essential for nourishing your body, mind and spirit. Set aside time each day to engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. This could include meditation to quiet the mind, exercise to invigorate the body, or spending time in nature to reconnect with the natural world. Create a peaceful environment in your home by decluttering, incorporating calming rituals and minimizing distractions. Your home should be a sanctuary where you can retreat from the chaos of the outside world and find solace in peace and tranquility. Take time to declutter your space, removing unnecessary clutter and creating a sense of spaciousness. Incorporate calming rituals into your daily routine, such as lighting candles, practicing aromatherapy or listening to soothing music. Minimize distractions by limiting screen time, creating designated quiet spaces and setting boundaries around technology use. 
Surround yourself with people who respect your privacy and uplift your spirit, and let go of relationships that drain your energy or invade your boundaries. Your social environment has a significant impact on your inner peace and well-being. Cultivate relationships with people who support and encourage you, and who honor your need for privacy and solitude. Surround yourself with positivity and let go of relationships that bring negativity or drama into your life. By prioritizing relationships that nourish your soul, you create a supportive and uplifting community that fosters inner peace and harmony. Respect others' privacy. Respecting the privacy of others is a fundamental principle in Buddhism rooted in the values of compassion, empathy, and mindfulness. Here are practical ways to demonstrate respect for others' privacy in your interactions. Treat others with the same respect and consideration that you desire for yourself. Just as you value your own privacy and personal space, recognize that others have the same right to privacy and autonomy. Approach interactions with kindness, empathy, and respect, honoring the inherent dignity and worth of each individual. Avoid prying into others' personal affairs or gossiping about their private matters. Resist the temptation to delve into topics that are none of your business or to spread rumors or gossip about others. Instead, focus on building genuine connections based on mutual respect trust and understanding, respect others' boundaries, and allow them the space to share or withhold information as they see fit. Honor their boundaries and give them the space they need to navigate their own journey. Recognize that everyone has their own unique experiences, challenges, and boundaries. Respect their autonomy and agency by honoring their boundaries and allowing them the freedom to make their own choices. Avoid imposing your own beliefs or expectations onto others and instead offer support and encouragement in their journey. By incorporating these practical tips into your daily life, you can cultivate a greater sense of privacy, peace and well-being. Remember that privacy is not about shutting yourself off from the world, but about creating a space within yourself where you can thrive and grow in alignment with your true nature. As you embark on this journey of self-discovery and inner peace, may you find solace in the sanctuary of your own heart. As we come to the end of our journey, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the insights we've shared today. Privacy, as understood in Buddhism, is not just about keeping things hidden, it's about creating a space within ourselves where we can nurture our inner peace and wisdom. I encourage you to integrate these teachings into your own life, whether it's through setting boundaries, practicing mindfulness, or honoring your own privacy and that of others. Remember that the journey towards inner peace is ongoing, and every step you take brings you closer to the sanctuary of your own heart. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of privacy in Buddhism. That's where you come in, my friends. I'm inviting each and every one of you to join the Wisdom Directions movement and help us achieve this incredible milestone. When you hit that subscribe button below, you'll become part of a growing community of driven individuals who are committed to unlocking their full potential, just like you. Let's make it a future filled with wisdom, growth, and limitless possibilities. Subscribe, like, and share, and let's watch Wisdom Directions soar to new heights.